we're really going to work on now is thinking that circle of movement on your stroke. So you have to think about the racket going back here, we're bending that arm a little bit, but then it's almost like following this circle coming all the way across. And when we come over, we rotate so that we get this butt gap showing towards the opponent. So next round, we're going to do six balls, all the balls out of the air. Okay. All the way across, there. That's it. Okay. I can notice immediately that when I drop it, there's like, I'm using too much arm now. Like the moment, first one, for example, it went down all the way here and the ball was flying away. Exactly. And we want to get those feet working yeah. again. Now we had a little bit of that karate kid syndrome. <laughs> we're up here too much. Feet were too far up. So I want you to think about next round using that back foot again. Yeah. Thinking you're counting. One and two. Okay. Stepping, taking the weight transfer forward. Very nice. That's it. Think about your feet. Yes. Yes. That was good. Last. Now when the feet was planted, there was so much more power coming into the shot. Exactly. Second to last. Third. Yeah. Last. Very nice. Yeah. I really like how you were pushing off yeah. the back foot. No, when I can see, like, I can feel when I do this. Exactly. The feet comes off, there's like all the power is going on. You're losing, losing the power, you're losing the accuracy. Yeah. Think about your left hand. Yeah. Don't spill any coffee. All right. That's it. Yes. That looks better. Getting the racket underneath the ball. That's it. Very good. Very good. So really think about your adjustment steps. You've got to be light on your feet. Happy feet, happy feet. So really loose with your feet, but then you stabilize them right on the impact. And then happy feet again. Okay. Let's try one more. Tiny little steps, pushing off the back foot. That's it. Yes. That's it. That's it. That looks better. Yes. All the way up. All the way across. That's it. That was good. Very good. And talking about listening to sound. Sounded really good. Yeah. Last couple sounded like really clean hits right in the sweet spot yeah. very good okay we noticed you pulled up a little bit on those last balls yeah. so what we're going to do now i'm going to force you to hit every second ball out of the air yeah. so now we're trying to get that impact point a little bit more out in front of you huh? out in front of that front foot yeah. so every second ball off the bounce every oh, second ball wow. out of the air okay. here we go six balls again yeah. and come forward yeah back up back up Remember that left hand. That's it. Back up. That's it. That was good. Remember, no. use your left hand. Yeah. Left no. hand out there. And the looseness, that's the thing that's missing. My hand is squeezing a lot. You have to remember, hold the racket loose. If I'm standing behind you and you take your racket back, I can actually pull the racket out of your hand. You don't need to tighten up there. Only on the impact. Okay. Tighten up. Even then, just a firm grip. Let it go loose okay. all the way. That will save you, save your energy, save your muscles. Yeah. So you only tighten up right on the impact. Let's try again. Off the bounce, first one. Out of the air. Up. Okay. That tip is very good to keep it very loose here. I'm like, I realize just now that I'm squeezing a lot here. I'm trying to relax, I'm doing the opposite. I should be relaxed here, and there I just squeeze a bit. Exactly, and now think about inhaling and exhaling. Yeah. Now we're getting this part loose, now we gotta get the rest of the body yeah, loose. Inhale when you take the racket back, exhale when you hit it. And now focus on your footwork. Yeah. I notice you got your feet up in the air too much. We get much more power on the stroke if we push off the back foot. So remember, think about Easy way to fix it is thinking dancing steps. Yeah. So you go out, that's one, you take the step two. Yeah. And if you say quietly two on a step, I know you're blowing some air out. Okay. So you're going inhale, exhale. Right. One. one and two. Okay. All right, we do this again. Out of the air. Yeah. Back up. Forward. OK. 
Okay, very good. Okay, well, much better. You look more relaxed. Your feet were on the court. Pushing off the back foot. So important, getting that hip, right hip coming through. Yeah, and getting the left hand out there so I know you're fusing your upper body. Rotating, turning, upper body. Let's try again. Okay, short one. Forward. Yeah. There we go. And all the way across. Very nice. That was good. Notice this. When the hips stay back like this, that's where. Yeah. That's the, that was the ones that I missed either up or to the net. They like. When I try to go from the arm, it doesn't work. It's this hip turning in that gives the power. And that's why I think semi-open is probably the way to go. Okay. Not, it, not going all the way open, not going the traditional close stand, but taking the step out here on the side. Okay. So you have room for that right hip to come through. So semi-open. And forward. That's it. Focus on your footwork. Happy feet, happy feet. There we go. Yes, there we go. That's, cool, That's a good one. That was great. So you have to remember your arm is a little bit bent, not totally straight. So you make sure your body gets behind that. Yeah. Just like we're punching, we're not going to be out reaching too far. We've got to get the weight yeah. behind. So getting it, crossing, bending your arm a little bit, but then right on impact, you want to bring it over. Djokovic leaves even a little bit open, a little bit close to that elbow at the end. Yeah. But it's better if you're out here, won't create any tennis elbows. Okay. That last round was really good.